Well, there's discussions about uh, CBS this morning <laughs> having complete overhaul. Everybody knows the, the turmoil that's going on with the network. The show was riding high, CBS this morning, their morning, uh, their morning news show. And then everything happened with Charlie Rose and missed the scandal with sexual misconduct. And uh, they filled him in with John Dickerson. Uh, and it just didn't quite go the way that they were hoping for. Now, you see a look at Gail King right there, Nora O'Donnell. Um, this is a show that's struggling to find their footing after everything that's happened. They said, we're looking at new producers. We're looking at new on-air talent. We're trying to figure this thing out. So are you guys surprised at the struggles going on at CBS right now? I'm not surprised. I'm not surprised because I feel mm -hmm. like they've always been... Um, I prefer a different brand of a morning show. Obviously, I'm on a show like ours because yes. I like something that's fun and youthful and um, and exciting and has bells and whistles. And I don't necessarily get that with CBS This Morning. And so I think they have wonderful, amazing anchors. I'm not sure if that's the answer. I'm not surprised at all either. I mean, I feel like working in TV, everything changes. Like yeah. nothing stays the same. That's the only thing that stays the same is nothing stays the same. So, I mean, I've been at networks for five plus years and like the on-air talent changes the producers change like this is just kind of how it is what do you think well I put my application in I'm hoping because <laughs> yeah. yes. listen if they want to shake it up put me on CBS in the morning girl but, that's a shake up uh, yeah. <laughs> listen but I wonder is like everyone losing their job are they getting rid yeah. of I that's think, crazy. I think no, that's I'm what, saying I understand. Yeah. I don't know if that's happening. I okay. think that is what's going to happen here. But I think that they've the seen table. everywhere across the network, their evening news when they replaced Scott Pelley, they lost one million viewers there. So I think it's becoming a steady decline at CBS right now <laughs> where if it's clearly not working across all platforms, there's got to be an overhaul. And I think Charlie Rose was... Uh, obviously, we're not going to get into his behavior. Nobody co-signs that there, but he was somebody that people would tune in to watch clearly. Mm -hmm. And I think when they made that change, there was a little bit of a loss. Maybe it's also a shot at the network and how they handled all this stuff because yeah. clearly they handled it poorly and more continues to come out. I don't know if this is a statement towards we don't like your personalities or we don't like the things you did as a network, CBS, but something's wrong and you need to make a change to generate some buzz. See, I always yeah. feel so torn on situations like this because <laughs> at, at one point you always hate to see people lose their jobs Absolutely. and you hate to see people, um, you know, have to, I guess, just kind of get booted towards the mm -hmm. door. But at the same time, this is a business and you have to find what works. So, like, I'm always torn because it's like I see both sides, you yeah. know? Yeah. Yeah, absolutely. It'll be interesting Crazy. to see what they do here. Will they make splash moves here or will it be minor tweaks and adjustments here? But either way, people are talking about a lot of overhaul going on there at CBS. All right, this next story <laughs> is a pretty funny one with the holidays coming around. It's kind of pertinent because everybody's hanging around the house. Families are hanging out. Friends are coming in and out of the house. Neighbors dropping off presents. Mm -hmm. So your house, you want it to smell good, right? That's like the idea. Ideally. Absolutely. <laughs> are you ready for this one here? KFC. 11 herbs and spices, fire logs. You take a look at them right there. Wait a minute. You light those underneath the fire with the gifts underneath the tree, and it smells <laughs> like KFC chicken, Are everybody. Are you kidding me? Is that a good look, Erica? Is that something that, 18 dollars by the way, is what you get that for. Oh, my God. Well, the thing is, I mean... Are they going to be, who are they marketing this towards? Because I just want to know who's going to actually buy a, a log that smells Come like on, fried Erica, chicken. You know who they're marketing <laughs> right. I mean, this is for black folks. Come on, What's Erica, going on? Just, don't, you, you, don't ever, you don't ever not say what you're thinking. I mean, I'm trying to be ah. nice. But I also, for a woman like me that doesn't cook that well, this is how I can finally get a husband and a man. I put the log on and burn it. He's going to be like, man, she can fry up some chicken. But then there's no chicken. Yeah, I'm about to say, then, then the man leaves and like, realizes there's, no, it's like, there's well, no chicken in the fridge. It's That's like hilarious. A, it's disappointing. It's like uh, you're smelling it but it, then it doesn't exist yeah what's next like popcorn scented logs and then you're like i oh want popcorn well, anyone else makes popcorn in the office or whatever you're like i yes. want the popcorn but that's, like what's always, that's what's always been so perplexing perplexing <laughs> to me is people will say oh i smell it that chicken smells great so then why is it a cologne why isn't it a fire law? Why don't, don't you want your house to, to smell like Do you want to smell like chicken? Isn't it enticing? It is enticing, but I mean... But what? Enticing? But a man that <laughs> smells, walks around smelling like fried chicken, it, I don't know. Don't you want to eat... Ah, hold, like hold on, hold on. Do don't know. you want to eat it all Hell up? No. Don't no, you, know. If a chicken smells good, you want to eat it all up, right? So I why wouldn't a man want to smell like chicken? I don't want to... Oh my God. It's not a Jordan. thing, Jordan. You're That's, trying to make this I like a thing. How you're like it's not a thing. You know what, Jordan? I'm going to get you some fried chicken cologne. And some color. How about some chitlin cologne? Like what no, are you talking no, about? No, 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 no. Chit now the chitlin smells. I want to smell like far. mashed potatoes. Nobody mashed like potatoes. that's that's how you know you really love chitlins is you'll still eat them despite the smell of them. Like, oh my god. So what them. about Carly? She's a vegetarian. So would she be like, oh no? Like it's like I'm not, not going to lie. When I smell fried log. chicken, I'm like. 
That smells really good. Yeah. You want to come back on some. over to the dark side? I'm not coming over, but I'm like, yeah, that does smell good. <laughs> you but chicken home. is a I can appreciate it. You, I can can al you can always come home, Carly. Oh, yeah. You can always come home. KFC, this is the first time they've done something crazy like this. They also did an extra crispy sunscreen before. Yeah. So uh, they've had fun with kind of flirting with this stuff. I can before. imagine yeah, putting that on my skin. Like, yeah. just. Imagining how that feels is just icky. Yeah, right? crispy. In Utah, all right, so there's this woman. She was sending out um, an invitation basically for their holiday potluck, right? And she was an employee at a business, went to send out the, the reply, went to send out the email to let everybody know what the potluck would entail, mm -hmm. details and all that Her stuff. Her personal potluck or the company potluck? The company potluck, okay. right? Except she sent it out to every single state employee. Oh, my God, I love 25, it. 25,000 employees. <laughs> yes. Got this. Oh. So you guys know the whole reply all situation. Like even if you're yeah. in like an email of like seven people, you're yeah. like, hey, like unnecessarily. Stop replying like, all. Yeah. Twenty-five thousand people. This thing is flooded. Literally, state employees' emails. So much so, the state lieutenant governor had to comment on this, saying, "Hey guys, this is an emergency because he watched his email get flooded with. Think about that. <laughs> thousands of people <laughs> saying replying all." not a part of this or this is what I'm bringing and it just was unstoppable for a lot of time now it's starting to wean down a little bit but how crazy is this but did they have the big potluck I mean like what, what happened like, well they found out that Marvin yet. has a walnut allergy like, so that was like a big <laughs> oh deal it was supposed to be like for one little department I think the craziest thing about this is like the most frustrating thing I'll say like okay somebody made a mistake when they sent the first email <laughs> but the annoying mistake. people that they sent the follow yeah, up like emails, they knew. You, knew. you didn't have to keep it going well, that's when fried chicken logs come in handy. Uh, Just throw the, you know, everybody's the everybody's a piece. And they're like, whoa, yeah. I smell chicken. How did she get access to this? This is what I'm wondering. Like, I feel like you should yeah, know what to be able to Yeah, that's what was not explained to this people. story. They didn't explain how it was able to get through that kind of gap yeah. to 25,000 people. Yeah. That's crazy. But that's I think crazy. when you send it, like, sometimes have you ever sent an email to maybe the wrong person? And it's not anything salacious, but you're like, I was supposed to send that to the wrong person. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Can you imagine if you sent it to 24,999 of the wrong people? They should have just had a big well? old party and let everybody come rent out a place and yes. just have a good old time. Uh -huh. Run out an arena. Yeah, absolutely. Basically. The question is, does she still have a job? She, uh, sure. I, mean, yes. she does. I told you the issue, everybody makes mistakes. The issue is A, how does she get access? And B, <laughs> who were the 2,500 people that, that responded afterwards? Like, yeah. just exactly. Being, just you know what annoying. you're doing. It's like, you, you know knew. what you're doing. Yeah. You know, somebody's like, <laughs> Debbie again. Again, again Debbie. Right. Debbie again with the <laughs> people are going to follow up with like my kids selling their Girl Scout cookies. Who wants to buy? Get <laughs> yeah. like win the whole thing. Oh my anyway. god.